Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to give you a few ideas for a bathroom tier tray. Why not? Why not have a tier tray in the bathroom? My kid's bathroom is looking kind of dull and needed something. So I decided to make a few things and a tier tray to go into the bathroom. My name is Tammy. This is Lama's Creations DIY. That's Shyla, my dog. Let's start crafting. For my first craft, I'm going to start off with this little sign. I'm going to take off the jute rope and using my hand sander or my finger sander, I'm going to get as much as that paper off as I can. Now that that's all done, we're going to paint the front with my oatmeal home decor chalk paint. And then using some masking tape, um, I'm going to paint, nope, tape off around the edge. And then I'm going to paint the edge with this light green paint color that we are eventually going to use on our walls. Taping down my words and sliding under a piece of carbon paper, I'm going to trace it over with my pen, transferring my image onto my little board. You can do this with a Cricut, you can do this freehand. I'm just not that good at freehand. After that's all done, I'm going to go over my words with a fine tip uh, chalk, no, paint marker that is in the color brown. And color in wherever it needs to be colored. Taking this uh, wood-like sticker paper, I'm going to place the little sign, the back of it, onto it trim it off with my knife and then I trim the rest with my knife as well giving it a nice back nice finish back now taking six of these like hexagon ish beads I'm going to paint three with the green color and three with the oatmeal color then taking some jute rope I'm going to string it through my little sign cut it off I'm going to tape the two ends together with some painter's tape. You can use any tape. This is just what I have on hand. And then I'm going to string my beads on, starting with the green and the other one, the green, the cream, the green, the cream, until I'm done. Then I'm going to take that and tie it into a nice knot at the bottom, as close as I can to the bead. Take off the tape and then I fray the end. Now with some more jute rope, I'm going to glue some to the back, wrap it around, I think three or four times, tack it down with some more glue, cut it off, and then I do the same thing to the other side. Next craft. Using some air dry clay, I'm going to smoosh it around in my hand to soften it up, and then using a round dowel, I'm going to spread it out the best I can and as flat as I can. I do eventually change dowels because this one was not working very well. I had to find something a little thicker. And I just keep smooshing and using the dowel like a roller, rolling pin, until it's the width and the thickness that I want. Now taking a cup, I'm going to take that air dry clay and I'm going to wrap it around the cup. And this is where I made my mistake because then I was thinking, hmm, how do I get it off? So I started using a knife and it was stuck on there pretty good, but I eventually got it off and this is how it turned out. So, all right, I went and found myself a plastic bag, stuck the cup into the bag, just folded it on the inside and tried it again. And this way worked a lot better. Using a spatula, I just trim off around the top to have a nice even edge and then I re replace some of the spots that don't have any of the clay and I just use water and smooth it down smooth the edges down and I continue along the cup and all the spots where there's any cracks or bumps that I don't like I just smooth it down with some water and my paintbrush and I use my putty knife until I like how it looks and this is how it looks dry I'm going to paint the outside with the green and I paint the inside with the oatmeal color. Then I give the entire thing a coat of Mod Podge. 
when the Mod Podge is dry, I'm going to hot glue some jute rope into the center of this little cup. And then I hot glue and wrap around a few times, hot gluing here and there, because I noticed that it would slip off if you didn't. And I go around, I think, three or four times. Trim it off at the end and hot glue it down. And then I make a, a multiple loop bow, just wrapping it around my fingers a couple times, cutting it off. Cut off another piece, slide it in between the two, tie it in a couple knots. Trim off the little ends, and then I'm going to glue it onto the other jute rope there. Taking some styrofoam, I'm going to stuff it down in the middle. Glue some Spanish moss on top. And then I have this little succulent that I had in my stash. We're going to stick that in. And this little flower pot is done. I love this one. Next craft. I have this wood square plank and these square dowels. I'm going to, along the edge, lay it along and then mark off on the outer side of the edge. And I do this all four pieces. And then I take them over to my saw and chop them all down. Just ching, ching, ching. I'm going to paint the square with my home decor sheepskin chalk paint. I think I've been calling it oatmeal, but it's sheepskin. And then I'm going to paint the square dowels with this green. I use the same two colors of paint throat. Now taking some wording that I printed off my computer, I'm going to tape it down onto my little board, slide in some carbon paper, and trace over my image, my words, with a pen. Taking off the paper and sliding out the carbon paper, I've got my image. Now I'm going to use that same green and I'm going to outline and paint in all my letters just with a small brush. And then I outline those letters with a brown paint marker that has a fine tip. Taking those square dowels that we cut down, I'm gonna add some hot glue onto the board and then we're going to glue those dowels, making sure one side is even with the board and then the other side is hanging over a bit. And I'm going to continue this all the way around. So it looks something like that. Next, I take a few more of the square dowels and I'm going to glue them onto the back and then paint them in green so they all match. It matches the frame nicely. Taking some more jute rope, I'm going to wrap it around my fingers three, four, five, six thousand times. And again, we're going to make a multiple loop bow, tying some jute rope in the middle a couple times. Straighten it out, trimming off the ends, and we're going to glue it onto the bottom of the sign. And this little sign is done. Next craft. This here I got around Easter time. It had an Easter sign on it. I took all the paper off, gave it a good sanding, and covered in all the staple holes. I'm going to paint it with that green color. Taking my ruler, I'm going to draw in some lines around where lines would kind of be. I tried to figure that out as best as I can. And then with my finger, I'm going to smudge the lines in, giving it a shiplap, shiplap look. Then I take another pencil and I go around all the edges just to tie it all in together. Again, taking my printout and carbon paper, I'm going to trace my image onto my little board. And then I'm going to fill it in with this light creamy color pen. It's a paint marker. And then I do extra little lines within the words just to help them stand out a bit more because the cream was kind of blending in too much. I take some more oatmeal chalk paint very lightly and I dry brush over top of the sign. And there's a fly flying around bugging me. Again, taking another wood-like sticker sheet, I stick it to the back of this little sign, trim it off and trim it all down with my knife. 
making it all nice and smooth. I paint the edges with the sheepskin chalk paint just to blend it all in nicely and make it look nice and finished. Add a tumbling tower block to the back to help it stand. Paint it in so it matches nicely. And when you're done painting that, this little sign is done. Next craft. You're going to need a total of 54 tumbling tower blocks. That'll be 27 per square. What I'm going to use is I'm using some wood glue, which is in this little tiny cup here. And I'm also going to use some hot glue. And basically we're going to put it together how you see it there. I just paint on some wood glue, add some hot glue, and then squish the two pieces together. I put the third one on there like the same way. <clears throat> then when I have two done, I exactly the same way, I add them all together like so. Now that they're all done, I'm going to take a ruler and line it up onto the corners, making an X in the middle square or the middle tumbling tower block. I have this uh, spindle that I got off of a chair. I'm going to add some wood glue and some hot glue and stick it right into the middle of that square. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. Find my middle and then stick the end of that spindle onto that one. Then taking some wood filler, I'm going to fill in all those little numbers that are on the edge, end, edge, ed, well, blah, blah, blah. they're a little bit of a groove in there. So I wanted to get rid of those. After that's all dry, taking my hand sander, I'm going to sand it all down until it's nice and smooth. And what you do is you just feel it with your fingers. And if you still feel the bumps of where the wood putty is, you just sand it a little more. This can get pretty dusty. So wear a mask if you need to. After that's done, I'm going to take my mixture of walnut stain. There's a dark and a medium mixed together. Paint it on, rub it off, and we're all done. This is set up in my boy's bathroom upstairs, and it looks awesome. I love it. I was thinking afterwards I forgot to put feet on this little tray, but I think I like it that way. With it just sitting right down on the counter, I think I like it like that. I hope you enjoyed those crafts. I certainly enjoyed making them. I tried going with a color that we will eventually be painting that bathroom. It's just, you know, I don't like to do house painting on the inside in the summer. Do that stuff in the winter. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like this video, and don't forget that bell. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, welcome back. So happy to see you here. You guys are awesome. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.